In this video, we'll be learning about checkboxes. How do we create checkboxes on the user form and how do we execute that thing? Let us see that. Now, I'm using the same file that is Excel VBA user form. I'll go to developer tab, click on this visual basic and I've already created a user form number four on which I have used these things. What are the things I've created here? I'll show you. First thing is I have renamed this as educational quiz. If you see here, the caption is given as educational quiz. I'll just move it. Yeah. Yeah. Educational quiz. And second thing is I have created a label here, which subject do you like? And after creating a label, I have added here three checkboxes. Method is very simple. Just click on this place and you can drag and create a checkbox here, all the three checkboxes. And finally, I have created a submit button. I have changed the font size, font style, and I've also added a background color. Now, if I execute it, if I just select the uh, user form and if I click on this run button, and now if you see checkbox first selected, second, third one, if I click on submit button, nothing is happening over here, right? So it's working at least, at least the user form is displayed. Now what I'll be doing is I want to do some execution part on this. I'll be asking people this quiz, which subject do you like? So either they can select one physics or both, or they can select all three of them. Now, whenever a person selects as physics, I should get here as count one. Second time, if he selects again physics, I should get here count two, three, four, five, and so on. So if he doesn't select the physics, it will be the same count itself. So suppose he has selected maths and chemistry. So after clicking on submit button, I want maths chemistry to be one, one. So again, if I click on submit, I want as two, two. So the number should get incremented below the uh, labels which are given. So let us see how we can work on that. So I'll just click on this close button. I've come back to this uh, VB editor. Now what I can do is for your reference purpose, I'll just go back to my Excel. And what I can do is I can give some name of the cell here for physics, below physics, below math and below chemistry. So if you want to give some name range, you already know this, you can just keep your cursor at this place and I can give the name of this particular cell. So the name for the particular cell I can give as physics range. So you can see here, underscore range, enter. Next one, I want to give this name as, I can just click here and I can give as maths underscore range. And the third one, I'll just put a small case again, chemistry underscore range. Remember the three names I've given as physics comma underscore range, maths underscore range, chemistry underscore range. So why I've given the name to this place is because in this three cells, I want the count how many people like physics, how many people like maths and so on. Let us see that. So I'll go back to the visual basic here. Now, see the names for this one. The name for this one is nothing but checkbox one. Name for this checkbox is checkbox two. Please see here the name is checkbox two. And the third one is given as checkbox three. So the names are checkbox one, two and three in the serial order. And if you see the name of this dialog box is user form four. If you want to reach till this first checkbox, you should have the parent name and the child object again, and then you can reach to that particular place. So now I'll double click on this place, double click on this place. So private sub procedure command button one click. If you click on this first command button, what you have to do is I will check the condition whether the checkbox is selected or not. So how do you check it? User form four dot checkbox one dot value equal to true this way. So what I've done is user form four because this is the user form four where I'm working dot checkbox dot value equal to true. If this is true, what you have to do is you have to go to that cell. If this is true, you have to come to this cell that is physics underscore range and you have to keep on adding numbers to that. Okay. That is plus one every time. So I'll just go back again. Yeah. So I'll write as this workbook dot sheets of one dot and I can write as range in brackets. I can write as physics underscore range dot value. Okay. So you observe here what I'm doing is this workbook that means where I'm writing the code that is this workbook dot sheets the first sheet because I have sheet one given here the name is given as sheet one dot range which which cell number you want to keep on adding the values the name of the cell number is physics underscore range if you want you can give a shorter name what you have to do with that dot value and what will be the value here 
I want same thing equal to this value equal to value plus 1. So again I'll copy this and I'll paste at the second part. So I'll select as equal to and first thing is I'll just press control C. Okay and here what I'll do is I'll paste it. Same thing I've copied and now I'll paste it. I'll paste control V. Okay control V and I'll say as plus 1. Control Z. And I'll say as plus 1. What I've done is I've added plus 1. So I'll just show you what I've written here. Okay. This workbook that is sheets first dot range. That's a value. And again I've copy and pasted there. If I if I take you to that place. I'll just move it right hand side. Okay. Same thing plus 1. Equal to this workbook. No difference itself. Now let us execute. Let us execute. But before execution I think I have missed something here. That is I have to write as end if. I'll write as end if. And if yeah now let us execute if I click on this run button and now if I click on this physics click on submit you see the answer I've got as one again if I click on this place I've got as two so the number of survey I do if people like physics I'll keep on getting here three four five six seven for the other numbers I'll not get anything because I have not written any coding part there so if I not select physics if I select maths and if I click on this place I'm getting no output so if I click on this physics, you see the answer I'm getting 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So what I'll be doing is similarly, I'll just copy paste the code and use for the maths and chemistry also, right? So I'll just click on this place, close, double click on submit. Nothing I have to do is I have to just copy paste these three lines and I have to paste everywhere. So I'll just copy this first, control C, control V, control V. And one thing you have to observe, if I'm copying and pasting here, now instead of physics range everywhere, the first checkbox stands for physics. This one should be second checkbox, this should be third. Now second checkbox doesn't stand for physics, it stands for maths range. So some changes I have to do. So I'll say as second and I have to write as maths range. Instead of physics, I'll write as maths range. And again, go back to this place. I'll write here as maths range and third one if i if i go to this place instead of checkbox one i have to write three and here i have to write instead of physics range chemistry range and again i'll go back to this place instead of physics i'll say as chemistry chemistry range all right done so three parts are done so one checkbox second checkbox third checkbox if first checkbox is true it will go to physics if second checkbox is true it will go to maths if third checkbox is true, it will go to chemistry. So all things are perfect. Let us try execute that. If I click on this run button, click on this physics. Already it is 11. So if I click on this physics, so it was working fine earlier. Let us see if I create maths, click on submit. Yeah, it's working fine. If I only select maths and chemistry, so whatever the numbers are there, it will keep on adding. So which subject do you like? So I can keep on adding here. So I can say a survey here, 17 people like physics nine people like maths and the remaining are for chemistry that is five now if i select physics and chemistry you see the numbers are getting incremented so it is working fine so this is how you can use checkbox on the user form along with the submit button or you can see as the command button and you can use with the help of sheets or if you want you can bring the message box i hope you have understood that's all for this video